Hello everyone, my name is Ray. I'm a nurse practitioner who specializes in cardiology. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, an echocardiogram. So an echocardiogram is a very useful diagnostic tool that we have. It's uh, essentially a, an ultrasound of your heart. So many of you have probably had one, but uh, just to explain what it is, it's basically a probe that gets put on um, your chest on the outside. There's actually two kinds of echocardiograms. I'll first go over the basic one, which is a transthoracic echocardiogram. And that's essentially where, again, they put the gel on the outside of your skin. They take multiple pictures. Uh, it's done by a professional called a sonographer. And uh, he or she has uh, done a program that has specifically geared towards, uh, you know, taking pictures of the heart. And so they are experts in their field. Uh, they are well-versed in, um, you know, taking uh, great pictures so the cardiologist can take a look. And what that test tells us is basically uh, gives us uh, quite a few, uh, quite a bit of information about your heart. The most important being the ejection fraction, which is essentially the pumping function of the heart. So when somebody has heart failure, there's different kinds of heart failure, but uh, broadly speaking, there's systolic heart failure, which is basically when the left ventricle uh, has started pumping uh, less than normal. So normal for uh, most people is above 50%. So anywhere between 50, 55%, even up to 60%. Um, but uh, sometimes when, when somebody has a pumping function that's below that, we call that acute systolic heart failure. And then there's diastolic heart failure where you can have uh, symptoms of heart failure, but the ejection fraction actually stays normal. So, and there's a lot more nuances that goes into heart failure, and I'll do some more videos in the future regarding heart failure. But uh, the other thing that the echocardiogram can show us is uh, how well the valves are opening and closing. So we have four valves in the heart. Uh, we have uh, the tricuspid valve, the pulmonic valve, the aortic valve, and the mitral valve. And I'll probably do another video that goes a little bit more into, you know, valvular issues. But uh, somebody that has severe valvular disease, um, they uh, are also in those uh, people that should, that's a relative contraindication to doing exercise. I did another video a while back talking about who should and should not exercise. And people that have valvular heart disease should be careful with uh, exercising. So uh, that's it for this video. Uh, again, this is basically just an introduction to what a transthoracic echocardiogram is. Thanks for joining me. Please consider subscribing and uh, share this with someone that you know. And I will see you in the next video. God bless you.